The Chino and Homeboy Podcast. Check it out. The Chino and Homeboy Experience. America's Homeboy jacks off all night. All day. Thanks for coming on the show, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. I love your shirt, by the way. Thanks. We designed it ourselves. I really like the cute little pot leaf. It's so adorable. That's just how we do on the Chino and Homeboy podcast. Cute little adorable potheads. Don't forget scrumptious. Jaime, write that down. So I have some recent clips of you defending Joe Rogan. Okay. Right, and it's people on the well, left first of and all, the I right think defending I... Joe Rogan, yeah. which I love. Go ahead, Caitlin. Yeah, I, no, I support Joe Rogan. Um, I like his show. He speaks his own mind. Um, this used to be a free speech country before we got into this cancel <laughs> culture. And uh, I would like to see him do uh, very well. And um, <clears throat> actually, when you showed all the people that are leaving Spotify, you had that little thing up there. They all look, they were leftovers from the 60s uh, hippie generation. <laughs> so I guess that's what we're fighting against. And then, here's a tweet you created, I'm assuming, after that interview. So you've decided to throw your hat in the support Joe Rogan ring. I mean, we have to, don't we? His free speech isn't the only one who's under attack. But all of ours, including yours. No doubt. Free speech should be protected in all of its forms. If he wants to say negative shit about black people, it's his right. I mean... I love Joe's podcast. It's very informative. And honestly, he said those things so long ago. I believe this is just a hit job by the liberal left. You're right. I'm sure he's grown a lot from those clips. Look at The Rock. He showed his support for Joe's free speech, but then took back his support when he saw those very old clips of Joe using the N-word. I have that tweet. That's quite the tweet. Telling The Rock he has a double standard? He absolutely does. Look at all the times The Rock has used trans people as the butt of his jokes when he was a wrestler. I have those clips! Like a bloated transvestite Wonder Woman ready to fight crime. Pew, 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 pew. See what I mean? I remember some of those. Speaking of making trans people the butt of a joke... Yeah, Ari Shafir had the best quote about that. He said, this is a great time for comedy because comedy is actually dangerous again. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's actually dangerous. Yeah. Now. Whereas like five years ago, you would say something, people didn't like it, they didn't come see you. Yeah. Now they're, they'll attack. Yeah. And you have consequences. But I think you just have to structure your bits better. You have to, you have to treat them, like uh, Doug Stanhope has a great quote that he was talking to me about. He said, I go over my bits like I'm a defense attorney. Like I, I like I am uh, I'm going over my bits like I'm being prosecuted for with you know so, someone's using the the bit against me and so I have to figure it out like a defense attorney. Yeah. I'm like that's a great way of looking at it. Yeah, but what a horrible approach in the process to. It is and it isn't because he writes the joke first and then he figures out how to make it bulletproof. You know, yeah. well I I have a, my method is usually I shit on myself so hard that by the time that I get to shitting on someone else. Yeah. Like I've I've already figured out like most of my bits that are controversial they start out with me belittling myself mm -hmm. like in the the most vicious way I can like explaining what a fucking idiot I am and then all the dumb shit that I've done that's related to this thing yeah. and that like when I wanted to make a joke about Caitlyn Jenner what I talked about was the first thing I talked about is how living with all women I have three daughters and my wife like. I, and then the way I described it was, it's like if my manhood was a mountain of marbles, every day they take two. Oh. Like you have so many marbles. God, it's every day to snatch a marble, snatch a marble. And my whole bit was getting to, I, was want, I wanted to get to, people are saying he was born a woman. He's always been a woman. I was like, maybe. Or <laughs> maybe if you live with crazy bitches long enough, All the they, time. they fucking turn you into one. Yeah. Maybe you go crazy. Maybe that too. Especially those ones. Especially those ones. <sighs> 
And so I had to figure out a way to do it. And so I came up with this thing where they're demons and they, they whisper in his ear in the middle yeah. of the night and they talk him into being a woman. <laughs> but it took forever to figure out a way. But I ha but it worked. Like yeah. it, it worked and people didn't even get mad at me for it. I just had to figure out a way to do it where, I, first of all, I belittle myself and then I explain it in a way where it's not, it's not dehumanizing trans people. It's just, it's like saying, are we sure? Yeah. Are we sure? We lost a fucking Olympic gold medalist, goddammit. <laughs> we, we lost one of our greatest athletes ever. Yeah. You look in the record book, what does it say now under Bruce Jenner? What does it say? I don't... I don't Is he, are you even allowed to say that anymore? I don't think you can. Well, um... He said that shit in 2020. Isn't this you after that Joe Rogan podcast came out? Uh, Joe Rogan, this is not the first time uh, he said things like this. Um... He's a homophobic, transphobic ass. Um, and he calls my family, especially the girls, crazy bitches. And he does this all the time. He's gotten his fame by putting other people down and um, making jokes about it. He says maybe because I was around all these crazy bitches that I, you know, transition... It's not even close. I stand by what I said. Yeah, but doesn't that just mean you have a double standard too? I don't know what you mean. You'll support Joe Rogan when he says racist shit about black people. But when it comes to talking shit about trans people, you draw the line. <laughs> well, I am kind of a dumb bitch. I'll say... Hey, what's up, homies? You like that shit? Then hit up that like button. Let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you didn't like that shit, then we hope you have a better time fucking yourself. The rest of you homies, go check out another video. Peace.